Today we're going to check out another ASCII tutorial with bigger size pixels here in After Effects. Now of course if you want to make the image more clear you're going to need to use smaller size pixels. I also got a tutorial for that and I'm going to leave a link in the description. Let's go and create a new composition, rename it footage. I'm going to go with the width 1080 and the height 1080 as well. 30 frame per second, 5 second, black background, click OK. And I'm going to drag and drop the video into the composition. From here, let's go to project, right click here, new composition. You'll rename it as shape one. And I'm going to try out with 36 by 36. Click OK. And it's going to look like this. Let's go and double click on the rectangle. So it's going to fill up the page. I'm going to go to the stroke, click on the none, click OK. And I'm going to press the letter S to scale it down. Let's go back to the project, right click, new comp, type in SG. And I'm going to go with the width back to 1080 by 1080. Click OK. And I'm going to go and drag and drop the footage and the shape into the SG comp. I'm going to uncheck the footage first, select the shape one and align it to the left and to the top. Let's go to effects and presets, type in a repeat tile, drag and drop on the shape one. And let's go to expand right, increase it. And I'm going to select this number, press control C. Let's go to expand down, press control V, enter, and this is how it should look. Now I'm going to go to the footage, activate the footage. Let's go to effects and presets, type in mosaic, and drag and drop the mosaic on the footage. And here we're going to need to know the size of the footage. So for example, here is comp setting 1080 by 1080. And we're going to go to the shape one. This is 36 by 36. So let's go to the SG comp. We're going to go to the horizontal, type in 1080 distribute with 36 enter so it's going to be 30 so i'm going to type in here 30 as well and let's go to track mat change it to footage now if you don't have the track mat here you can go to the toggle switch activate or deactivate and i'm going to go and select the footage go to effects and presets type in extract and drag it under the mosaic and here i'm going to go to the black point and increase it and as you can see it is going to eliminate the pixels and create that nice contrast i'm going to go all the way up now let's go down to the layers select both press ctrl d to duplicate and bring the two new layers on the top now i'm going to go to the footage back and i'm going to go to the black point and decrease it to 148 and the white point 195 let's go down select both layers press ctrl d to duplicate again and bring it on the top let's go back to the first footage and i'm going to decrease it to 78 white point 147 and i'm going to duplicate one more time select both shapes press ctrl d bring it on the top select the footage and i'm going to go down 33 77 and about least we're going to need to go back to the project select the shape one press ctrl d two three four five so this way we're going to have like five copies and i'm going to go here to the shape one leave it as it is and we got the shape one here above let's select this one and let's go up to the shape two press and hold alt and drag the shape two on top of the shape one and this is going to replace it with another composition and i'm going to go to the shape one here above I'm going to go here to the shape three, press and hold alt, drag it, replace it and do the same thing with the top. I actually don't need the shape five, press on delete. And now basically all you need to do is go to the shape, double click on the shape four, for example, and I'm going to uncheck this shape and here you can replace it with anything you want. For example, I'm going to go with the star. Let's go back to the SG and it's going to replace it and do the same with the rest shape three, shape two and one. Now here you can see how I replaced all the shapes and this is it. Thanks for watching.